8,000 feet in altitude. We expect the radar should have locked up on the ground by now. We expect that uh, the airbags will inflate approximately 20 seconds from now for an altitude of 5,000 feet, 168 miles per hour. 4,000 feet. Radar solution, Matrix 21. 3,000 feet. Uh, the radar has a, a positive block on the ground. We have a retro rocket firing solution. Retro rocket ignition on my mark. Mark. At this time, the retro that rocket has fired. We have confirmation that the retro rockets have ignited. We are now awaiting confirmation of positive signals bouncing on the ground. At this time, we are 5 minutes 55 seconds after entry. We should be bouncing on the ground. We're getting a bouncing signal. We are getting We have a momentary loss of signal as the spacecraft is bouncing on the surface. It is difficult to maintain lock. We're seeing it on the LCP. Very strong on LC on our LCP. We have a very strong signal in the hand full of the channel indicating that we still have a safe We're layer signal on RCP as well. Here. Both both channels. We're on Mars, everybody. Copy that. We have DB on the Second fragment filling, that means two and a half minutes of communications from the lander after landing. Minimum of two and a half minutes of communications after landing. We'll wait for the data to come down. It will be a few minutes and we'll give you an update. We're, we're flight, flight, we're rolling on Mars. Lots of happy, happy faces here in Mission Control. There you see the governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right, followed by strong. Adam Schiff, California congressman for this area of Pasadena and Glendale. Arnold Schwarzenegger is coming up next to former Vice President Al Gore and gets, gets a broom from Wayne Lee. <laughs> Wayne is giving the governor a tour and introducing him to Rob Manning, the EDLG, and Polly Estabrook. And there you see NASA Administrator Shauna Peake with Dr. Nadiri here at JPL. Behind him is David Baltimore, Dr. David Baltimore from Caltech, and Jason Miller, the flight director. And we have a report that the data is flowing. Okay, we're, we're getting data. Getting data. Waiting on those first pictures. Oh. <laughs> First look at a new world. Could you repeat that, please, imaging? Copy that. There's our first look. Oh, oh wow! wow.
these are the rear hospital images. We look out the back of the rover at a new Martian terrain. Yes, that is uh, the horizon. The, the images have to be stretched a little bit. I've ever seen before what we're seeing right now. Uh, more pieces being added to the mosaic as, as the frames come down. They can piece, uh, put more puzzles into this uh, panorama that you're seeing being made. Right there, but I'm really interested in, in the features that we see very close to the horizon. Uh, yes, yeah, now's the time to say welcome to Murray You can tell from this uh, resolution, but there's uh, looks like a lot of exciting things there. I hope you enjoy your stay. So one more time, the uh, human species is exploring a new world. Wow. Wow. Very, very angular formation to those rocks. It, is, it almost looks like a tile patio out there. They're very different from our first landing site. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Very devoid of rocks. Uh, smooth, flowing surface with rocks. Uh, so I came here prepared for a funeral, basically. And uh, instead, in the last 48 hours, talk about a roller coaster ride. We resurrected one rover, and we saw the birth of another today.